Hello YouTube, if this goes to be a reaction, I don't know yet. Hi YouTube, how are you? Hi YouTube, hi YouTube. We're gonna watch a video now. <laughs> I, I love Static Tokyo stuff, so let's go. Hey, people love to do it, but why? I don't know. Uh, people like to do what? Hey, people love to do it, but why? I don't know. People uh, like to do what? Why is Static Tokyo here? Now we as a population, uh, homo sapiens if you will, <laughs> Yeah. Love hating. I'm an underground oh, rapper. Stay underground, hate. bro. You ain't never getting out of the hood. Drama, fun. Be real with yourself. If it's obviously, if it's I'm happening not saying to you, we other all people. like to hate, but there is obviously a Chilly large YouTube's audience game. for it. Hate, as we know, is a strong emotion. At least in that hate would probably feel good. Uh, especially if you feel incentivized to do so, which we will touch on later. Hate, in some cases, forms friendships or bonds. Uh, mm -hmm. If you wish to do the ice bucket challenge on a specific oh. individual, and you meet someone else that wants to do the same, boom! Friendship! Woo! More or less. We cultivated a whole culture of hating on people. Uh, a lot of music, especially in rap as of right now, and for the longest time, to be honest, has been- What the heck? Also about the friendship, I don't know. For me personally, it takes quite a bunch to get um, a friendship going. For me, it takes quite a bit. And will probably always be haha i'm better than you do a money spread oh wait you can't broke boy go cry about it Damn. you know and not gonna lie that shit be heat you know, when we Prince listen or sing along or whatever unlucky. we kind of feel that shit unlucky. we feel like the goat right now it's an ego boost even though we have no money no bitches sorry i wasn't paying attention to what he said there at all um i keep making eye contact with the fast food work king same for me <laughs> Good luck. My best friend just spawned in my life. Same. Same. Literally just spawned. You now cut me off. That shit be heat. And when we listen or sing along or whatever, we kind of feel that shit. We feel like the GOAT right now. It's an ego boost, even though we have no money, no bitches, no hoes. No man. Absolutely zero play. Or like when a rapper no this is another rapper you've been hating on since you popped out the room, <coughs> Drake. Uh, that happy chemical in your brain hits a dance, and obviously for some cases it can I be don't real beef why this was so uh, that big, even by has like way. real world don't. consequences. Uh, but something I do get a little confused by is hate watchers. Why do people do that shit? Watchers! Oh my god, the hate watchers! Oh! Oh, oh my! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god true though true true remember remember author remember author chat i'm gonna tell you right now i do not like one piece what? i'm out i don't you think i'm about to i'm not watching this I gave it a shot, didn't fuck with it. You don't see me Ooh. watching the shit to hate on it and then oh, be like, you. Naruto is better. No, no I'ma just watch what I fuck with and mind my business. I don't like some popular content creators, but I'm not gonna go on their streams or YouTube videos and leave a comment saying that I know they sleep with roaches and have hella bed bugs. I'ma watch what- I swear that was uh, towards Aspen Watchers, I swear. I like and mind my business. Katie Morton actually has a thorough video breaking down why people do it and oh, what hate watching is, which the seems self-explanatory. <laughs> but basically, it's whenever you watch something or someone you hate just to basically be a dickhead. No uh, there is many reasons as to why, uh, which again, Katie Morton goes. Every time, I'm sorry, Chad, this is completely irrelevant to the video, but every time I see a notification of Gmail coming into my phone, I'm like, <gasps> Which partner? 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 Every time a man comes in, it's like jump scare. They just hear an ubu over through on their video. But in ooga booga brain terms, uh, your life is ass. How many You're of y'all what you right now? Everyone. And hating on someone else, especially on social media, because it's easier to find someone that has it worse than you. It makes you feel better momentarily. Hating on someone can also be used as a way to run from your own bullshit. Yeah, uh, people hate on other people trying to bring other people down to just make them feel better. It's It sucks, but people are just that way. I don't know why. 
Yeah, I do know why. Because they got nothing better to to go off in their life, man. They got nothing better going on in their life, so they need to put other people below them to think their life is worth living. Uh, now, these reasons are depressing. Not gonna lie, it's, it's, it's sad. But it definitely could be the case for some hate watchers. Now, the thing that people... Also, regarding hate watchers, I don't know why, but... I 100% believe that I do have a couple of hate watchers. Well, first of all, there was uh, the author situation. There was the author situation, right? Where the guy literally went out of his way to DM me and shit. Uh, and then... I have people just randomly disliking my videos. Like... Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> just a meme video. Dislike. What? <laughs> what have we... It's just not understand. Like, if, if I have given, like, a controversial opinion on it, sure, I can understand why you've given it this, like, sure. But if it's just watching memes, like, the hell? What me the most about it is people that use hate to gain attention. For example, oh, those, if you see something funny, those people are you may laugh, move on, maybe hit a like. Those but people are dumbasses. when someone says something you disagree with... I'm the hey, Drain! Hi! Hi! Thanks I'm for the follow! You almost get an urge to engage. It's an innate feeling. And when you have a group of people agreeing with you on hating something, it just validates your thoughts. Social media then pushes this content because it's keeping people on the platform. And again, I'm not saying this goes for everyone, but some people notices this and does a whole hot take, blah, 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 insert something crazy here. Not the pipe! Uh, people even actively ask for others hot takes. What's your K-pop song hot take? Like, what's a song that everyone loves but you hate? I mean, hot take is something else from getting hate, right? Also, by the way, here's a Twitter, um, here's a Twitter tip if you actually wanna grow, like, a Twitter audience. Uh, because hot takes, right, firstly, this is a tweet, secondly, hot takes help on Twitter, actually. So, firstly, post every day, right? Once, twice, try to post every day. Uh, secondly, Every few days, or like, maybe once, not every few days, maybe once or twice a month, post a hot take. Post a hot take, because it gives you engagement. That's why people post hot takes, man. That is the sole reason why people post hot takes on Twitter, because it gives engagement. Well, crazy. Crazy. People want to feel validated in their opinion with their same uh, thought process. That's also crazy. Whoa. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Moving on. Takes, which. That spread is the worst. I don't, I don't like that spread either. I don't feel about it, but you know, that's a thing that happens. Opposition to something you hate is the fastest and easiest way to broadcast an identity. Quote by a friend. I don't know if they want to be brought up. Uh, okay. So just know that I was not the one that concocted this uh, fire okay. statement. It was not me. I do okay, not take sure. that. I hate people that hate on something and just push the thing that they hate. This was literally me talking about the entire Kevin situation, though. Like, people are literally just broadcasting my freaking hate around on Twitter just because they are fat and they need to show their insecurities and people need to, like, normalize body standards and anime pictures. Whoop whoop. Womp womp. For example, me personally, when I see something I actually hate, I just mind my business and yeah. I keep it pushing. Literally. I may talk to my I may talk to uh Axion, my boyfriend, about it. I may talk to friends about it, but yeah. Yeah. Which I know sounds weird coming from a person that built up their channel and basically talking about shit. I could have so much videos if I did videos on shit I hated, it would be insane. But when I do a video, I don't particularly hate any of the people I'm talking about or any of the people involving in the situations that I'm oh talking God, about besides that image wasn't that a video AI generated a few videos I, I try my best to basically have a discussion based on my observations and also provide the information that I'm basing my opinions off of which is not Hi, how a news VTuber works please don't watch me for news go watch like Alara <laughs> holy titties <laughs> holy booba what <laughs> Holy booba! Or someone else. I don't know. But what I'm getting at is, 
People are more so sharing what they hate instead of sharing what Yo, they love. Mods three back for on Which in turn gives what they hate more attention. Another does issue I have with Does Alara actually do news? I, I have no idea. Also, yeah, Static Tokyo doesn't make news videos. He is a commentator. People giving hate is that they don't really know how to articulate why they hate something. You would you, did? you, could, yeah. you okay. do Aww. you would. For example, I said I don't like One Piece. I How say that you? because I personally do not like the art style that much. And when oh. I watch anime, it looking pretty to my eyeballs matters to me a lot. This isn't me shitting on One Piece, by the way. If you like it, cool. Have you fun. I think the story is kind of interesting. I'm not going to lie. But at least you know the reason why I don't fuck with One Piece. Fair, I could go fair, more in depth fair. to what about the art specifically irks me. Um, but then we'll be here for too fucking long. But some people will say, oh, I hate that. And I ask them why. And they give you... Oh yeah, you just like One Piece. One Piece is like the best anime ever. Like the show is so good. It's not just about pirates. It's actually about the government and how the government is corrupt and how pe the people are trying to like. Moving like, on. Close to no answer. Music, for example. I will say I like more underground artists. People like Is Brokey, Mumble, Skite, just to name a few. But I hate I when them. people say, "Oh, I don't like the this artist or too this long. song." That's a good answer. It's Mainstream. Well, I totally get that, that people don't like One Piece because it's too long. I still would say, still give it a shot. Because the story is actually pretty good. The story is really good. And then bump Not Like Us for the thousandth time. Which, I mean, fair. It's a fire song. I understand. Or the people that hate something because they homie hate it. Homie hate it? What the fuck? Respectfully, y'all make my head hurt. Think for yourself. <laughs> Rain blast your own thought or something. Jimmy and stop on. slobbering your friend's knock. I'm not entirely sure why people think this way. It could be them trying to fit in. Yeah, it is them definitely not wanting that. to be the outsider of their group. That, that's I don't know. The but same thing. If they're your friend, the worst that's gonna happen is they're gonna turn, look at you dead in your face, and be like, That shit was trash. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then they're gonna move on. Nothing crazy. And obviously, this can go beyond interest. This can go about people, Yo. even. If hey, Kamichi! If someone that never had interest about you now has interest about you, mm -hmm. and she's ovulating and she saw what? a baby, it's probably huh? because she's having baby fever and she just wants to get impregnated to have a child. Come again? How did we get here? Fine. Nothing crazy. And obviously, this can go beyond interest. This can go about people, Yo. even. If suddenly a girl never that never had interest about you you <laughs> now has interest about you, and she's ovulating and she saw a baby, it's probably because she's having baby fever and she just wants to get impregnated to have a child. What? What? <laughs> My English skills understand that, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Women logic? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just saying. You'd be surprised how many of the VTubers I'm just you saying. Watch don't like each other. There's also a lot of VTubers that are like good friends too. Behind the scenes, you may, may not. They may not like do streams and shit together, but they're also like very good friends, like behind the scenes and shit. It's not all bad. Uh -huh. It's not all bad. I promise. Okay. Uh, I that's a VTuber that does like me because I outran her in success. I mean them, not her. Uh, I outran them in success, uh, not revealing if it's a woman or a man. Well, shit, I already said she. Yeah, well, I already... <laughs> I... I can't with this, man. I can't with this. We started VTubing around the same time. We started VTubing around the same time. I was like doing our commissions and shit. They commissioned me for some stuff. I delivered the commissions. They were so happy. I was so happy. We even did some collabs. And then. And then they. Like, they gave me VIP in their chat and everything. They were my Discord server. And then. When the Fire Nation attacked on Kitsu, suddenly I started growing on YouTube and started having a growing on. Twitch. So it's equivalent of the Fire Nation attacking, you know? It's the equivalent of the Fire Nation. So obviously, as I was growing and she wasn't, 
I mean, she had to. <laughs> she, yeah, tried to do the uh, um, shoe on head reaction too. <laughs> anime betrayal, literal anime betrayal, man. She tried to do the shoe on head reaction too. And, well, her tags were kind of mid. Her tags were kind of mid. She your eternal arrival. It seems like that. It does seem like that. I don't know why, man. She removed my VIP. She stopped following me on Twitter. I'm pretty sure she stopped following me on Twitch as well. Uh, she left the Discord server. You're just more based. <laughs> this seems like a two. Is she even? I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put names out. I'm not gonna put names out, man. Uh, it's just. It's just so stupid. Who? Yeah, someone. Another VTuber. <laughs> another VTuber. I'm, I'm not gonna give you the name. <laughs> Chat, I'm not gonna give you the name. That's sad, man. It is sad. It is sad, man. I was like, yo, we were getting along. And then suddenly like, no, she doesn't seem to like me. I, I don't know, man. Redditors, do you think? <laughs> Things like that tells you a lot about a person. It does. It does. Someone you used to know starts <laughs> Sometimes I still go into her chats and say hi. <laughs> I just say hi to see, like, how's it going? And she barely addresses me now, man. She barely addresses me in her chat now. It's- it's so funny. It is so, so funny. Also, um... Once her YouTube reactions didn't take off, she started resorting to NSFW. Just mentioning that. <laughs> just, just mentioning that. Just letting you all know. <laughs> So, yeah. We changed you. <laughs> Do you know how little that narrows it down? <laughs> well. I'm not telling you who it is. Ooh, how horrible. What's her name? <laughs> I lost what's happened. Don't worry about it. I did a whole Let's video on, on this kind of thing in the past, but... <laughs> VTubers and hell, content creators as a whole, and I guess this can go for like any fucking other job to be honest, uh, say the most vile thing about each other behind closed doors. It's crazy. Uh, some even go as far as to spread false rumors about another hey, individual yo. to basically isolate the individual from other people. I'm- I wouldn't be surprised if she did that to me. I wouldn't be surprised if she did that to me because one of my older viewers is now only watching her now. He's now only watching her now. Like, he was my viewer first. I brought him him through, I don't know, TikTok or something. And he stopped watching me. And now he's only watching her. And like, yeah. So that's that. I wouldn't be surprised if she was spreading rumors behind closed doors, man. It's, uh, it's so funny. Which is probably the biggest waste of time I've ever Lord seen. Drop? Ever. Uh, some simply just shit talk about another behind closed doors. Uh, and a bunch of other things you may see if you watch any 2000s movie that takes place in a high school. I'm just waiting for one VTuber to pour milk on another VTuber's head on some K-drama shit. Granted, Wait, most of the people that do this in the VTubing scene specifically is uh, V-tweeters. If you don't know oh, what that not is, the I'm going to keep your brain as pure as possible oh, while explaining no. this. V-tweeters are people on Twitter or X or whatever the fuck that don't really have much content or do much of anything. Oh boy, VTubers are the worst. I actually think this is all fear mongering. Streamers always say people say awful things behind others, but it never happens. Honestly, it might just be a lot of fear mongering. It might be. I wouldn't know. It's just that I also wouldn't be surprised with how some people are acting, you know? With how some people are acting, I also wouldn't be surprised that it is happening behind closed doors because women are awful. Women are just fucking awful, you know? Women don't care about you. Women only care about themselves. Women are so selfish. <sighs> and I'm talking about the basic bitches uh, here, man. I am talking about the basic bitch here, man. Women are 
fucking awful. To be honest, but you see them on Twitter usually complaining about someone or something over a trivial issue. And obviously, since people love the tea, they kind of grow off of them hating or complaining over certain topics that don't really matter at all. Uh, yeah, just for clarification, I'm obviously not talking about those that call out other people for doing actual crimes. But, you know, I just want to be clear on that. Sometimes the numbers and all that can get to your head, so you just kind of transform into a being of hate. Uh, clout chaser, kind of, of sorts, if you want to uh, use yo. that term. Which is, obviously, not the best thing to happen to a person. But what do y'all think? Why are people seemingly far more vocal about things they hate rather than things they love? My wife just gave me the stink eye after hearing that. Why are you? Hi, socialist's wife. Hi. I want other thoughts. Let me know in the comments. And that was basically it. Simple, simple talk, simple rant of sorts. Uh, I'm gonna go now. I appreciate y'all. Peace. <laughs>